There's a shark in the roof. Ah. Yes, guys, welcome back to the shop. Today you catch me, a bit boring for the car guys out there, but this is my day job, um, doing this sort of stuff, fuse boards and stuff. So I thought I'd make a video, it's gonna be pretty interesting, just connecting a fuse board up for a lot of people that don't know how to do it, or, you know, are learning. So let's run through that now. I'll see you in a minute. So first things first, we've got the mains armoured coming in, and you've got a semi-recessed fuse board, metal construction with all the cables coming in the top. Come round. This is a split load. Let's focus that up. This is a split load board, with two RCDs and a main switch. Your main tail's coming in there. Put the light on. This will be getting taped blue. So in a free core armoured, you get brown, black, which uses the earth and you tape up, and grey as a neutral, because you don't want to associate the black with the old neutral colours, so you always use that as the earth, and you use the grey as the blue, so you just tape that up. And then in this, uh, this is a one, uh, two bedroom flat, so you've got like two ring mains, a cooker circuit, a boiler, um, tower rail heaters, um, smoke alarms and a couple of lighting circuits. Um, so yeah, if you bring all your cables in the top normally, and then you want to put some grommets, you've got knockouts and grommets on there. Um, normally you bring all your cables in, split them off, and then you can, um, what I do is I leave my lives all down, get all the cables back in first and pushed out of the way, and then you can dress all the lives in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll talk you through the process. So normally on a job like this, when you're making a fuse board off, you've normally sort of second fixed all your sockets and lighting points. So here you can do all your testing, you can do your end-to-ends, um, your insulation resistance. Um, but in this job, they want us to finish the board and then we're coming back to do all the second fixing because there's no one else here which they should be fixing stuff up. But um, we'll then have to take the board cover off and do all the testing. So what I've done, rather than twisting any of the earths together, I've put them in separate sheathing, so you can split them easily to test the end-to-ends, do your ring final circuits and stuff. Right guys, here for instance, I've got a ring main. Um, so you've got two cables going into your terminal. So you don't need, because these are 2.5s, you don't need to double these up, these conduct to these, uh, these coppers. So they, they will screw in singly um, but when you come across a cable, for instance, this is a 2.5 for the boiler. Um, when you get that into the terminal there, you want to leave enough on that to be able to double that over. So let me just show you. See there, what I've done is I've left that um, longer so I can double that up. It just gives the screw a bit more bite rather than a single cable flapping about, and it gives it a better connection. Um, and also, um, when I dress these in, I dress the neutrals in around the back and I pull the earths in and just leave the lives hanging out and you connect them in last. Okay, so on the earth for there again, you've got the single earth, but I've doubled that up, just so it gives it a, a screw a bit more to bite on. And just a quick note, if you read this board, from the main switch, you read right to left on this one, but some boards you'll have the main switch here, which you read left to right, and the first break will be one, two, three, four, but on this board it's one, two, three, four that way. So the neutral bar corresponds, but the earth bar is actually starting from the left, there's your main earth, you've got your water and gas normally, um, your bonding, and then you start with your circuits, number one, two, three. So that'll be uh, one on the left there, and one on the right there. And if you've got a split, split load board, which you have, you have two neutral bars. So that's the second neutral bar. Second neutral bar, there you go. On this one, you've got three. So, so I've just noticed, um, I've read this wrong, these have got to go in there, this is main dirt, this is main neutrals, this is the first bar, the RCDs, that's the second bar of the RCDs, because if you follow this, um, the neutral live ne the neutral comes in the top, goes through the switch, that links up to there, it's non rc detected, this one loops off the top, comes through the first RCD, up there to the first bar, and again this one comes off the bottom, down the back, into the second bar. Your first lot in there, your second lot in there. Right, we've now moved them to the right neutral bar. So just a tip guys, you don't want to cut these straight along and up. Always leave a little bit for the next guy that's got to come in here and do some up. Or if you, you, you know when you've got your testing, you don't want to be pulling these out and, and have it really tight. You want to leave enough on there. 
Um, that's just another little tip though. Now we're left with the live cables out. They're gonna be going into these breakers. It's got all the CPCs in and the neutrals. Um, what I do is go around and check every terminal, even the manufacturer's one. If you read here, you do get a data sheet. What the recommended tightening torque is with your torque screwdriver. We're not gonna do that today because these are all gonna be coming out again for testing. Now we just gotta connect the loads in. So just a quick one guys, when you're making these off, make sure you bring them up and then down just to give yourself a bit of play on all of these cables and then you won't uh, leave yourself short. Right, board is now all connected. Next thing to do is put in the top of those bars in the bottom there. Uh, get all those connected and tighten all these screws up. So put one end there and then connecting those ones up, one end in there connecting those four up. There we go, the little buzz bars are in. When you get a spare uh, section, they give these nice little covers. And then just a tip, when you make sure when you're fitting these, get all the screws back because you don't want to miss a gate um, on the bottom of the breaker there. That's it, they're all nicely installed now. Guys, so all left to do on this one is put the lid on um, and label it all up from where you've put your um, circuits in which breaker. And, uh, and that's it then really. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.